Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? It is currently 5.58 a.m. About to head over to Jacksonville to watch the my first training camp practice since 2021. Of course, last year it was closed down because they were constructing the Miller Electric Center. Um, I've seen the Miller Electric Center go on the Jags game just being under construction, but this is the first practice I'll ever be kind of going to it it's going to be an awesome moment just because you know i've been going to training camp practices since i was a little kid and this thing looks revolutionary so i'm going to vlog today and take you guys with me and for those that can't go to any practices this year maybe out of towners um i'll be able to show you guys everything that the new practice facility has to offer and of course just watch some of the jaguars players practice so let's do it all right let's do this all right, guys, we are out here. She is 8, 10 a.m., I think it is. Uh, gates opened at 8, so we made it. Look at that. All right, we're going to hit that pro shot up. And take the Inside the I need like a like a big Duval to start the day. How about it? One, two, three. Yeah, 
ready to go, mentally, physically ready to go. And they're excited about not only what we did, but what we're, what we're about to do. And I also mentioned to them that if you want to be great, it's not about what you did, it's about what you're going to do. And, and that's what greatness is all about. They really have uh, sort of embraced that during the training camp right now and, and excited for, uh, for the upcoming season. Quick defensive thought, this was a takeaway group last year. Opportunistic, they got the ball away. I think seventh in the league in takeaways. Got to keep that up on defense. And this is a group that's motivated to, to keep that energy and give the offense the ball back. Yeah, takeaways uh, takeaways in this league go, go a long way. It shortens the field for your offense. And if you have an explosive offense, takeaways mean everything. And then, of course, offensively, we got to keep the football. I think the first part of our season, we had too many giveaways, particularly in the scoring zone, down in the red zone. So we got to be able to take care of the football, but defensively, we do focus on ta uh, give our takeaways uh, there and, and making sure that you know, you'll see it in practice today, how, how the defense is trying to punch, strip, whatever they can to get the ball out of the offensive hands. Everybody here today is uh, special. We're glad you're here, but Coach, there's an extremely special group of fans that are over here to the far right to that. Yeah, we've got, uh, what, we've got 70 football teams here today, I guess. Where are you guys at? Where are you football? I'm going to hand you the seven youth football teams here today. Awesome, right? That's where it all begins, Coach. Very cool. Thank you all for coming on uh, the football teams and everybody today. Coach, uh, thanks a lot. Have a great day of practice. What can we expect today, finally? Yeah, today, today we're kind of, we've worked red zone, we've worked third down, today we're going back to our normal down and distance, our first and second down stuff. The end of practice, we're going to be working a two-minute situation, two-minute drive. We're going to be spending all our time here on field two. Yeah. So uh, enjoy practice. Really good Thanks seats. again for coming out. Yeah. Hey, Coach Doug Peterson, join us. <laughs> 11 years in the NFL. He was undrafted by Kansas City in 1990, worked his way through to a starter about four years later with the Chiefs, spent some time with the Jaguars and some pretty good years, 99 and 2000. It's linebacker Lonnie Marks. Marks. You need like a champ too. Marks. All right, hey, so guys, first of all, turn around and look at this place. This is not quite uh, what was happening in, in the times you were around here, right, Beast? Yeah, we were more like a dungeon where we were. Here. We were underground every practice and every meeting, but now we get to see the sun. But I guess coffee wanted to that way. <laughs> Lonnie, you, you put a lot of places in the NFL. It was a different era, right? In the early 90s, into the mid 90s. Now, a lot of places, most places in the league have something similar to this. I think this tops all of them. Yeah, I think this tops all of them. Uh, actually, we used to be yeah, get that new stadium going. I like that. Yeah, right? That would be nice. All right, so uh, favorite training camp memory, Lonnie. Let's start with you, right? This is a, it's always hot, no matter where you are. Right?
Trev. Trev. Trevor, can I get your Gatorade? You can't stand still, go and go up in the seats, we we'll take pictures. You, know, you gotta keep moving down here. Excuse me, guys, you, you can't stand still in this area, you gotta keep moving down. But, but, right, Trevor. So, there's a walkway. This painting is bad ass. So here's an up close look at the new Jaguar. Pretty awesome. I think a plane is what, this thing's like a week old. It's already got rust on it. Still pretty badass. So you can see right over here. Looks like this. I don't know if you can see it through here, but this is where they have press conferences. You can see the actual background. It's pretty sweet, but yeah. Stadium shot. Honestly, beautiful day. Very hot, but we were in the shade, so it's all good, man. It's all good. You see right over here, this is where people are lining up for player autographs. I think you have to be pre-selected for this. Um, 
What's going on guys? So leaving practice now, super, super fun practice, man. Um, obviously at the new Miller Electric Center, it's unreal just seeing the, you know, change throughout my whole life when it comes to what we have now. Super, super hot day, but like I said, we were in the shade. Unfortunately, we weren't able to record that much. Um, you only were able to record, I think the first like three periods. And then once they actually got into like the playbook and the scrimmages, weren't able to record any of it. It was funny, one person, over near me got caught recording one of the plays and one of the security guards took this dude's phone went into the camera roll and deleted the deleted the video herself it was a uh, it's pretty funny but i'll have more thoughts a little bit later now i'm gonna go get something to eat get one of the local jacksonville specialty restaurants over here I'm gonna be good and then i want to get some jags merch so i'm gonna go to jack's beach go to football fanatics i think it's called and uh, that's what it's called, Football Fanatics. And then get some, uh, I need I need some new Jags hats, man. New season, I'm kind of getting old with a bunch of my Jags hats. Got to keep it fresh for the YouTube channel. Um, gonna be an awesome year, man. We're in search of our first Lombardi trophy this year. So, you know, gotta, gotta freshen up my Jags gear. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, take you guys with me. All right, we're at Pig Floyd's. Got barbecue baked beans, jalapeno poppers. Got some brisket. Looking good. What's up, guys? So I am back from Sports Mania is where we went. I don't know where I got Football Fanatics from. I think it's an old place. But while I'm getting a few Jaguar things, hello, Bo. Um, I got two hats. I freaking love this hat. This is one of my new favorite hats. Um, I also got this guy right here. Um, just says Jaguars across the front, teal. And I also got this really, really sweet polo. Um, the prices of all these, this is this was $40. This one right here was $37. And this one was $75. I mean, this is more than I would really ever pay for clothes or anything like this. But for me, I kind of see it as more of a business expense. I have a couple of different sponsors coming up this football season. So I just want to kind of make sure that um, I look good, that I got some presentable stuff. And uh, hey, it's Jaguar stuff too, so I can kind of write it off as a business expense for the channel. But really excited about this stuff. Um, I didn't get, I think maybe next week when I go, I'll check out the team shop, see if there's anything in there. I didn't take that much of a look today, but you know, I'll take a deeper look next week. All right, guys, so had an amazing day today. I am going to right now just kind of recap like my experience as opposed to the actual practice. I want to come to the football side of things. I'll kind of talk more about that in a separate video, just kind of giving my takeaways. But I mean, overall, it was a pretty revolutionary day for me. I mean, like I've said a million times in this video, um, I have gone to so many practices and um, it just seeing what has been built in Jacksonville, it's just incredible. I mean, we look like a really legit NFL franchise now. I mean, we have the amenities. I mean, the players aren't in like the dungeon like, like that's been said so many times. And um, it's just really exciting. And um, a few things, one thing I was worried about with this was like, the the fan sectioning is a little bit different and i say that because back in you know before this year fans would kind of sit with more of like a 50 yard line kind of angle like they they were kind of sideline type of viewing now it's end zone viewing and i thought that was going to be kind of a disadvantage i, th I didn't think i would like that um but what it actually enables you to do is like I think the seating is pretty elevated, so you're able to kind of see down on everything pretty well, which is pretty cool. And, you know, there's times in the previous um, facility where, you know, there's three fields and there would be times where, where the teams would scrimmage on the third field all the way down and like you literally can't see anything. Unless you have binoculars, it's really impossible to see anything. Um, so now we have, uh, now with these, it's two fields that they practice on with one of the fields being inside, which you're obviously not going to watch it if um, you're going to practice. And like we sit very, very well. You can see all the fields, pretty much everything going on, you can see really, really well, um, which was really awesome. And I thought that it'd be a little bit of a disadvantage. Um, also, I think something that's really cool is just honestly the seats. I mean, you have legit seats instead of bleachers. We all know I mean, we all know what sitting in bleachers feels like, and it was just really, really enjoyable enjoyable to be able to sit there and just, you know, kind of relax in the seats. Um, I think that it's cool that, like, 
you know, Doug Peterson came and talked to us before, like Aaron Beasley was out there. Like, I know Urban Meyer kind of did it a little bit where he came out and kind of talked to the fans, but I think it's a pretty cool thing that they go out there and they kind of have a little bit of pre-entertainment before the actual the actual uh, scrimmaging starts or the, the practice starts. So um, that was something that was really cool for me. And, you know, they just have cool different things around, cool bunch of different photo ops for you. Um, they had rookie pitchers coming in where you can, uh, the rookies were the people that were signing today. I don't really know how the signing thing works. Apparently you get, um, uh, apparently you get randomly pre-selected. I had no idea how to even figure out if you're selected. I don't know if you buzz in and like, oh, you're a winner. Go, go, you know, register here. I know me, I'm not much of an autograph person. If I got it, I probably would have just gone through and like taken pics because, you know, I think it's pretty cool to meet the guys, shake the hands, whatever. Um, but you know, it's mostly for the kids. Like I would rather, I'd, I'd rather a kid because I know, I know what it was like for me when I was younger, being able to take pictures and get autographs with the, with the, you know, the players, I would rather these guys, you know, I'd rather probably a little kid go in my place, but I know for me, I would have liked to do it just to give you guys a little more content, you know, if I was out there. So, and that's one thing that I would have done. So overall, like really, really fun day. Um, got to do some things, got to, uh, you know, it was nice being back in Jacksonville. I haven't been in Jacksonville since, uh, the Los Angeles Chargers game. So it was, uh, it was good to be back. Um, obviously, and look, I look forward to, uh, you know, the season starting, man. It's, uh, you know, right around the corner and, um, I'll, I'll be coming out with a recap video of what I've seen from practice because guess what guys, spoiler alert, we look pretty good and I'm pretty excited about it. So, um, thanks guys for watching. If you enjoyed this vlog, please leave a thumbs up. Go Jags.